Hey guys, so this haul has been a really long time coming. I've accumulated a lot of stuff in the past little bit. I did the Sephora VIB thing. I did some of my own shopping on NarsCosmetics.com. I went to Lush. And I was just waiting for certain packages to get here. And then when I wanted to film, I couldn't because we've been having renovations done. So during the day, it's just been really chaotic. And I haven't been able to film a video in natural light because... Uh, it's just way too noisy in my house. But without further ado, I really want to get this up before I give birth and burst because it could happen any day now. And I would laugh if my water broke during this video. Actually, I wouldn't. Just forewarning you, I haven't been able to talk for a very long time. So this video is probably going to be very long and I have a ton of things to show you. So if you don't like long hauls, you're not going to like this video because I know it's going to be long. First and foremost, I'm just going to show you everything that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. And I did get one of those uh, totes that they gave for free. And I ordered everything online just because I really haven't been getting out of the house too, too much. And the closest Sephora is like 45 minutes away from me. I'm just going to randomly grab these in no particular order. And I was deciding between the Vice 2 and uh, the Too Faced, a few of my favorite things. I ended up getting a few of my favorite things palette just because I thought I'd use the colors more than the Vice one. And I have the first, like the original Vice palette and I really haven't used it that much so it kind of swayed me to buy this. Plus there's like blushes and uh, bronzers and lip products, mascara. So I liked all the little extras that were in this little uh, package. So it has a really cute pink and gold chevron case. The packaging looks like this. You open it up. You have all your eyeshadows up on top and they're really, really pretty. I haven't even swatched them yet. I did use uh, some of these for uh, the tutorial I did today. I can't really give my opinion on this yet. I would like to do a review on my blog, but we'll see when that happens. I have this problem for my blog where I have to take pictures of it before I even touch it. So that's why I'm not touching it because I think I'm still going to do a review, but I probably won't because I really don't have time. The colors are just super beautiful. Lots of neutrals. Uh, more matte shades uh, than the Vice 2 palette, which only had two matte shades, and I personally like matte shades. I already know I like uh, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. The blushes uh, are really nice. I used the pink one today. And I've always wanted to try the Sun Bunny bronzer, so liking that so far in terms of the little extras that came with this little set uh the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I haven't tried but I'm not going to be opening it just because I have so many other mascaras on the go and then uh the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm I really wanted to try these and this is no joke like if you have sensitive lips even if you don't like I I don't really have that sensitive of lips but it burns like I put a picture on Instagram and then I had people saying that I had like uh, my lips done and I'm just like uh, I don't know a doctor that you would find who would give you an elective procedure like that when you're pregnant and I'm like trying to get this across I did not have my lips done uh, I've been filling them in with lip liners uh, using plumpers things like that and uh, maybe my face in general is swollen now that I'm pregnant I know that my nose is a bit swollen and nasally because it's always congested, but apparently your lips can get a bit swollen. Some people were telling me anyways, so. Now that that's over and done with, uh, I am wearing this right now. And I actually probably shouldn't put this on because now my lips are going to burn uh, for the remainder of this video. But uh, yeah, that's what's on my lips. I really like it. it uh, kind of settles after a while it does burn like give it a couple minutes and it does start to burn but I find if you put a lip balm on prior to applying that it kind of lessens the severity of it so just give that a try if uh, you have the product and it hurts you too much but 
I personally like it and I think it really gives a nice volume and definition to the lip. I also picked up one of the Sephora Formula X nail polishes and this one is in Wham. It's one of their top coats and it looks like paint splatter on your nails or some people were saying it looked like snowflakes when I put up this picture on Instagram. It's just really beautiful. I love the formula. I really want to pick up more of these. If they just have a plain clear top coat in the Formula X, I have to pick it up because my nails lasted forever with this top coat on. So yeah, hopefully there's a clear top coat because I'm going to be all over that because the formula is so good. Another thing I have been obsessed with, I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you follow me on Instagram or if you saw my previous Get Ready With Me for 38 Weeks Pregnant, but I love purple lips. So I decided to pick up one of these Marc Jacobs Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyls. And I got this shade number 208 Truth or Dare. And I didn't know these were uh, plumping gloss when I got them. So I was kind of thrown back by that. But it does not sting like this. It's nothing like that. So don't worry. Uh, these are probably the most comfortable... Um, what's the word? luxurious I guess is what I'm trying to say uh, a lip product that I've ever put on my lips I think it's even nicer than my Guerlain one that I own and the color is just so beautiful it's a dark uh, purple berry shade and that's it on my hand I'm so glad I picked this up and uh, the color you see in the tube which I love the packaging, it's so classy, is the exact color that you're going to get on your lips. Just look at the tube, that's what you're going to get. So that's really, really nice to know. I didn't get this in the Sephora VIB sale, but I did pick it up a little bit before because I was worried it was going to sell out, but I don't think it did. It was the Tarte Amazonian uh, Clay uh, Blush Off the, Club, on the, off the Cuff um, Blush Palette. And I already knew I liked uh, the Tarte part park park the tart park avenue princess bronzer because let me show you the sample i have so this is the the deluxe sample i did have of it so as you can tell it's all gone so i wanted to get a full size of this bronzer but then i saw that this uh blush palette was out and I've never tried any of the Amazon Clay blushes, so I really wanted to try that. And I already knew I liked the bronzer, so really it was a no-brainer for me to get that. And I'm really, really loving it. I also picked up the Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. And this is probably my favorite uh, under-eye setting powder as of this moment. I like it better than my Laura Mercier. And what else do I use? Um, my MAC um, Light Sweep. And it has a yellow tone to it, and it's just really nice at brightening the other eye, under eye. And if you need a little extra coverage, this is your best friend. So really liking that. I wasn't planning on picking up this product. It kind of was brought to my attention just before the sale went on. And it's the Benefit Gimme Brow uh, product. And it's a brow volumizing fiber gel for your brows. And Sabrina, Sabrina XO here on YouTube, my friend here, she texted me about this, and I had to try it she just talked it up and it is as good as she says I have very sparse brows if you guys are aware and this uh, it just gives a really natural filled in look uh, if you're really on the go or I know I'm gonna be uh, soon with baby uh, this is just a quick way to do your brows fills them in and it grabs any little hair plus gives a little tint of product this is fairly dark it is their darkest shade I think they only have two or three shades, but I got medium deep and it's very, very deep. So just be forewarned, but it is amazing and I should really do a full review on this because that's how much I love, love this. So thank you, Sabrina, for telling me about this. And then the last thing I got, which I think everyone and their mom got, uh, was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting uh, Palette. And I've never tried one of these. I had no intention of trying one of these because I have the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder that I've been using and I love. And these are just really expensive individually. And when I swatched them in stores, it was like, eh. 
like not so much that I cared to buy it. So first it comes with a little primer and I have tried the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer before. It's very expensive, it does work. If you're willing to spend the money it is a great primer but as I said it's madly expensive so I've never uh, repurchased it for that reason. And then here's the palette itself. It has three shades. Uh, one shade is supposed to be used for like an all over uh, dusting of product the highlight in the middle and then that's more like a bronzing your skin look so I used these two today I just put uh, the darker like more bronzy one over top of my blush and bronzer and just to make it more glowy and then that as like a highlight on my cheekbones these are just made for like really subtle glow to your skin uh, if you're expecting like some kind of wow factor with this product uh, you're probably looking at the wrong thing but if you use it like as I said on top of blush or bronzer or even on its own and just uh, just for a nice light uh, natural glow that it's like you look like you're glowing from within but you can't really tell like what it is you're using then this is like perfect unfortunately it did sell out online I'm not sure if they still have it in stores I'm sure some places do so definitely a great value for what you get three of them for like just over what one cost but less than two I think so great great value for that next I went on NARS cosmetics and I've been wanting that NARS Ida Kabuki brush for the longest time and finally I saw that they had it uh, restocked on their website and I'm pretty sure it already sold out but this is the packaging it came in I have been using it that's why it is dirty it's just that uh, brush that's kind of tied on to the handle like it's a tiny little kabuki brush and people use it for contouring or whatever it's just a really great contour brush for powder I haven't tried it with cream products but MAC came out with one that was similar to this and I think it's better for cream and this one's more appropriate for powder depending on what you use or if you use both you may as well splurge in my both and then I got a sample of Coco Gabbana uh, Illuminator and people were asking me how I got this sample on Instagram when I showed a picture. Uh, I always Google coup coupon codes before I place an order online. So this was using the code WELCOME I believe and it's just a nice little deluxe sample of that. I haven't used it yet. And then I ended up picking up the NARS Guide Borden. Uh, what is this? Larger Than Life Eyeliner uh, little bundle there. And I have one of these pencils and it's my favorite for the waterline. It lasts all day. It's the nude one in Rue Bonaparte. And then this, uh, I think this was around $49. And it comes with this little cute makeup case. Not that I need any more. It comes with five eyeliners. Uh, little mini ones of the Larger Than Life. And this is really nice because they don't have the nude ones. So these are all ones that I don't own and they're all shades that I would use. They have a white, a purple, this really nice blue, which I have to show you, a uh, brown, and a black. So this blue color is insane. I plan on doing an eye look with this in the future. And I, obviously you guys can't see it from that far, but I'll try and put swatches in this video. Also, they didn't have this available on the Sephora website. That's why I ordered it from NARS, or else I would have waited for the sale and obviously got 20% off. But yeah, Sephora wasn't stocking this for some odd reason. And then I've been hearing so many things about Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which I did a look on today using some of these. So I ended up picking up 13 shades. Um, I'll list them in the video. I'm not going to switch them all around and tell you what they are, and I already threw out my invoice. So I also picked up one of the Z palettes to go along with it. And it's just their black regular size Z palette, and then um, pretty much most of the neutral shades. That's it. Uh, I use them today as I said and they're just extremely buttery, blendable, so pigmented. Uh, I'll definitely have to pick up some more but these will keep me entertained for a while. And then what is a haul by me without some MAC products? So I ended up picking up a couple things from like the fall and holiday collections. Uh, first thing from the fall collection was this Ultimate Dish lip gloss and it's just a nude beige uh, lip gloss. It is really nice over top of anything. I just, these are the type of colors that I always gravitate towards, so I, I'm going to get tons of use out of that. Then I also did a look, uh, my rose gold holiday look, featuring this eyeshadow, Mineral, 
mineralized eyeshadow in exquisite ego it looks like this and it has like a nice pinky color at the top with a gold at the bottom and if you swirl them together you get a beautiful rose gold uh, color so that's why I picked it up because I don't have rose gold eyeshadow so I really wanted to try this it looks really good wet and that's what I did for my uh, tutorial for this and then I was in need of a new primer so I decided to pick up the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer and I've never tried a MAC primer before but this one's really nice uh, I don't find it does anything extravagant for me but it is a nice primer then I ended up picking up two lipsticks uh, one in You've Got It and one called Flare for Finery. You've Got It is a very frosted light shade that reminds me of like a snow bunny and it looks like that and I'm using it for mixing on its own I don't think I can really pull it off because it is very very light. So picked up Flare for Finery and it is just a nice light pink nude and it's a luster. I don't particularly like lusters. It's very sheer. It's on the top and uh, I don't know. It didn't blow me away. Like I heard a lot of good things about it but eh. It was whatever to me. Then I ordered some Lime Crime lipsticks. The first one which I have been loving and wearing because you know I like my purple lips recently is Airborne Unicorn and it is a beautiful lilac shade but I've been mixing it with a uh, night moth lip liner so that's why it's kind of darker but just be a nice really pretty shade for the spring and summer or if you mix it with a dark lip liner like I've been doing it's a really nice uh, purple for the fall winter months and then I've been dying to pick up this one it's Coquette by Lime Prime they finally had it in stock because it was out of stock for a while and it's just a, a peachy nude and it's right up there and I love these because uh, their nude shades are so pigmented so unlike that flare for finery lipstick which is a luster and not very pigmented and it kind of uh, lets my lips peek through I love a good opaque nude that's not matte or drying on my lips so love lime prime for those and a couple things I picked up at the drugstore I got uh, NYX skinny marker because I like the regular felt tip one which I couldn't find but this one is their skinny version so hopefully it's just as good if not better and then I finally got one of these Sonia Kasha concealer quads in light and even the light looks really dark to me for some reason but I used that today and I'll let you know how I like that but I wanted to pick up some more like drugstore products then at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada they carry uh, the Bomb Cosmetics so I really wanted to try uh, the Schwing Black Liquid Liner which is hands down the best liquid liner I've ever tried because it has a quick dry down, it dries matte and it's very dark and long wearing so like if that doesn't sell you right there then I don't know uh, what will for an eyeliner. It's so easy to use, it's so fine tipped, you can get a very thin line or thick and it's just black as black and the dry down as I said is very very fast and it's matte so perfect perfect liquid eyeliner I also picked up this uh, macadamia natural oil deep repair mask and I got the big guy it's 16.9 fluid ounces I've tried pretty much like every hair mask out there I'm going back to this one because it was my favorite of all the ones I tried so loving that and then I used to use the Tresemme heat tamer all the time back in the day but for some reason I didn't repurchase it even though this is only a few dollars but I got the Platinum Strength uh, Heat Protectant Spray so it's like a strengthening heat protectant spray and I've been using that lately and my hair is just really shiny and healthy looking so I attribute that partly to this because during my pregnancy my hair started looking pretty rough so really liking that and then I went into Lush and this is probably one of my best ideas I've had uh, during my pregnancy was picking up bath products for the last couple weeks just because I haven't been doing much and I just want to relax and a nice bath from Lush is just perfect for those last couple weeks let me tell you. I repurchased the skincare that I've been using during my pregnancy which is the 9 to 5 cleansing lotion uh, and the O Roma water, the toner water. So these are repurchases so yes I do recommend them. I have used them for the past 9 plus months and 
uh, my skin is really good. So love those. And I got one of these bubble wands. It smells like, I think it's their snow fairy scent. And you can use this multiple times, just run it under the, in your back or whatever. And I just like, cause it's like a really cute wand. And I picked up another one of these comforter bubble bars. And I always have one of these in my house because this is my favorite product. Well, one of my favorite products from Lush. And it's probably because of the scent. It's black currant scent and it's just like my favorite smell ever. So you can get a couple uses out of that. And then these things I don't know the name of. Um, this is a snowman. I'm pretty sure it's just like uh, the bubble or the, what's it called? Butterball or something like that. It's just in the shape of a snowman. So yeah, I plan on using him very soon. I wanted to film this video because I really want to use these bath products. So I got him. I have used the butterball or whatever that is before, but because it's a snowman, I decided to get it. And then I just uh, picked up the Santa. It's probably just named like Santa or something. I'm not sure the scent of this, but it smells so good. So it's just a little Santa uh, bath bomb. And I'll put it down below uh, what the fragrance is. He is just smells so good and I think he turns the bath water like red then green or something like that so it just sounded really fun for the holiday season so that's it for my haul that's all I could actually fit in before my battery died so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what products you've been liking uh, this holiday season uh, holiday palettes anything like that or products you think I should check out and uh, also let me know what you guys got at the VIB sale because I'm really curious. Everyone seemed to have gotten uh, similar things. So definitely leave those down below. And I hope to see you guys in a video soon or it might not be for a while because hopefully a baby comes in the next week. Thank you for all your support even though I haven't been putting up as many videos. I know you guys are very understanding because pregnancy and that all comes first. So. Yeah, uh, just thank you so much for sticking by me and with my channel and I will see you guys as soon as I can and I can't wait for you to meet my little prince or princess. I have had these things for a while so that's why like, I've tried everything pretty much because I couldn't resist um, or couldn't wait to film and not try. Ah! Where did that go? I don't want to bend. Anyways, I also picked up the Bare Minerals. Love, love this. So thank you, Sabrina, for telling me about this. It is like my brow life savior. Savior? Saver. My life saver. Savior. Is it Jesus or is it candy? I don't know. And I hate this foam stuff that it comes in because every time I try and take it out and put it back in, it just fumbles everywhere. Not that I'm going to keep it, but it was bothering me. If you're expecting like some kind of like wham factor, wham. And then I also got this kabuki brush. I <laughs> actually forget the name and I'm pretty sure I just sounded deranged there. My nail fell off again. I also picked up Flare for Finery, which is a luster. That nail is just going to stay off.